Hi there, this is Sam and thank you so much for coming to this channel. In today's video, I'm back with something new that I've never talked about before, but it is just because I'm going to start a new series of Splash tutorials, especially when you're using a mouse and a keyboard at the same time in Virtual DJ in this year. Now in today's video, we shall have to take a quick look at all the settings that you really need in Virtual DJ in order to start scratching with your mouse and keyboard. The next videos after these ones will be the scratch techniques themselves. I've decided to do this into different videos just because the settings along with scratching would be so long. So in this one, you only look at the scratch, I mean the settings, and then in the following videos, we shall get into actions. Without wasting any time, let's see it. Well, the first setting that we're going to look at is the skin. We have to first change the skin. Scratching using a mouse in the first place can be quite difficult and imperfect, more so if you're using a skin that doesn't have enough space on the jog wheel to grab and scratch with. Now for this reason, I and most people prefer some interface that has a large jog wheel space for grabbing. Let's get one. All you have to do is go to your settings and navigate to extensions. Make sure you click on skins and in the search area, input Old School by Zanad. This is Old School by Zanad. Yes, this is perfect and it's a good example. So please click install in this area and then if you don't have it, you'll get installed on your virtual DJ and you can always change it under interface. Setting number two is for the jog wheel. Now just follow me along. Go to your settings and then move to options. In the search bar above, please type in scratch. Now there's a lot of settings that come in here. In the first place if you have a smart scratch set to yes, please kindly check it to no. There are also two other things that you need to do here. You have to change the ramp scratch to 10. The other very most important thing that you should also change is the jog wheel sensitivity. Here I like using at least 0.1, but by default it comes to 1.0. If it's too high, the jog wheel runs very fast, so you can't do anything perfect. But the lower it is, the more perfect you do. This allows your mouse to, to, to hold stable to the jog wheel and then scratch in a slow and smooth way. You can also try it out after mapping this correctly. After doing the setting, you can go back and try and see how it works. But that was that for the jog wheel. The following setting is number three and this is going to be for the volume and then the, the cross fader control. For you to achieve nice scratches using your mouse, you need to configure your cross fader to work just as you, you could be scratching on a turntable. For this, let's go to the settings and then navigate to the mappings or controllers section. In the key section, please choose the button that you want to use to control the cross fader in the first place. And in the action box below it, you should type the mappings below. Cross fader equals to 50% while then put an underscore this underscore don't forget while pressed okay crossfader equals to 50% while pressed this button will be used for pushing the crossfader to the center and back to its original position this will allow you to make chops and then your scratches will come out nice you can save this mapping as well and then go and try it and see if it's working perfectly if it doesn't work, then you should make sure you come back to this section and then just map it again. You can as well use the, the volume button. In your mappings area, you can type the following mappings for a keyboard that you, for a mouse that you, I mean, for a, a button that you have chosen on your keyboard. In the mappings area, please just type volume equals to 100%. While, then put an underscore pressed. Okay, volume equals to 100% while pressed. You can also map uh, the volume to 0% if you like it, but to me I like using this one. This button will still do the same work as the crossfader would do, which is going to be for chopping the scratches. You might also consider mapping the following buttons for the crossfader. To take the crossfader to the left, to the left, you better use crossfader equals to 0%. Crossfader equals to 0%. So when you press that button, the crossfader goes to the left. And then for the right, the crossfader equals to 100%. I really have a full video on the crossfader itself. I have about two videos and the links are in the description below here. You can just choose through. Please feel free to save your mappings and then try and check and see if it's really working on your virtual DJ version. 
if he did he should be able to work and if it's not working that means something is wrong with the mapping so please go and try it again number four and always ready for scratching material now if you always want to have a specific sound or a scratch material at your fingertip you should consider mapping a key on your keyboard which you can always press once and loads a specific sound that you want to an active deck for you to be able to scratch it anytime you want now the skin that we're using comes with custom buttons just like any other skin would do and for you to do this first go to your settings and in the mapping section select a key in your keyboard that you want to really use for this reason and then there is a pen drop tool down here just come and click on it once and then go and drop it on a specific custom button that you really want to use and then after this uh, this mapping should appear if this mapping doesn't appear in the box here then you should go and do it again that means it's not correct you can then save this mapping and then close now we are going to 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 give this button an action to do what you have to do is right click on it and then go down to edit a window like this one should appear up here in the action box is where you will type your action and then paste the song directory now type load load is the action that we are going to use here also put open quotes after inside this quotation marks is where we we shall have to paste our song directory if you already know the song directory you can type it here directly but if you don't know you can open your file explorer and then locate the sound that you want to use for scratching for my case i have decided to look for this song here and put it in the auto mix section or you can also put it in a side list and then just right click on it go down to file operations and then open in the, open in file explorer this should take you to the directory of the song and then you will have to take note of the the file path and then the correct spelling of the song name that is the most important thing please take note take note of the correct spelling of the song name otherwise it might not get loaded if you don't do that correctly to copy the file directory path you should right click on any open space in front of the the, the address here and then copy address make sure you copy address this is going to be your directory please go back to virtual dj and in this box right click on it and paste choose paste also include the song name but first you need to put a backslash and then you type the correct song name it should appear like mine here i already have this set now you are all set and each time you press on this button the same song will be loaded to any active type for scratching but before you can close this you have to rename your button for example i have mine here i've named it scratch so you can close this and then try and see if it gets loaded if it's not working please this works in any virtual dj version so please make sure you can copy the correct path and then the correct spelling of the song title inside quotes they should be green like mine and then that is it all for today guys so please wait for the next video in the next video we shall be talking about scratching itself using a mouse i'll be having many videos on the same thing this is going to be like a series of tutorials please thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed this video if you did it so please give me a thumbs up and also if you're still new to this channel if it's your first time or if you have not yet subscribed please do that to get everything at your fingertip every time i do it all comments that are relevant are welcome here so please feel free to let me know what you think and then let's meet in my other videos